Hi everyone, this is Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a little blending experiment. Um, I have a couple of balls of unknown fiber that I received from a subscriber. And she had sent these to me and said, maybe you can do something with them. Now, separately or together, they are very, very beautiful. Absolutely love them. They're soft. So, according to what I feel, they are definitely some type of wool. I'm just not sure what content or, you know, what kind of wool that they are. I'm not 100% sure. So I figured I would play around with them, and since I would be making something for myself, I would go ahead and break out the blending board and a couple more different fibers to blend together with it and see what we come up with. So as some of you have seen in my past blending board, um, I use this Spectacular by Lion Brand. And now it's a polyester acrylic wool mixture. 52% uh, polyester, 38% acrylic, and 10% wool. So the wool is very, very low on the totem pole. And it has a lot of sparkle to it, which is why they called it spectacular. And I also have some of this... Um, I believe this was Showstopper from Hobby Lobby, and it also is like an acrylic polyester wool blend, more than likely. I have no idea where the label is for it anymore, so what better way than to start using it in something like this? So let's get started actually blending and playing around. I'm going to go ahead and remove my brushes from my board here, maybe. There we go. And, of course, I have my coarse brush and my fine brush. So I think since I have more of this, I'm going to lay down a little bit of a base of it. And now it's a gray, um, like a tonal gray. So I'm just going to pull off a piece of it and start laying down a base. Let's see if we can get some more light on this subject here. So let's see. So here, all I'm doing is layering and brushing it down into the blending mat. Okay, I think I'm going to lay some of this dark down on there. Just random spots like that. And maybe I'll untwist some of this and add to it. Okay, let's brush that down in. All right, 
right. I'm going to cover that up just a little bit here and there. Let's add a little bit of this lighter color. All right. Now I'll add some more of this teal color here. And I'll put a little bit of this gray back over the top. Brush that down in there. All right, I'm going to put one last little bit of this darker color on here. Let's see. Something like that. Okay. Now that I have a good amount on here, I'm going to turn it into Rolags and I will be right back.
So here we have three little roll eggs out of what all I put on the fiber board. And so this was a different style of blending than I did in my previous roll egg making. The previous roll egg making, I was just showing how I was taking fiber, placing it on here and turning it into a roll egg. But this is an actual roll egg from blending different fibers together. And you can see how that looks. Next step, we'll move to the spinning wheel and start spinning it up and see what it looks like spun. So here's my two singles, and here it is being plied, and now it's on the Nitty Naughty, and this is the finished product. Thank you for watching. Be blessed and be a blessing.